Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your Toshiba laptop, tablet, or computer desktop running Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows 7, or Windows 8. So if you're noticing that your programs are very unresponsive, your computer has very slow boot times or very slow startup, and you're having other issues or errors associated with your user experience, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve a lot of them. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to right click on the Windows Start button and select where it says Task Manager. Select the Startup tab. And then you want to select different apps in here that are not your antivirus. Just select them, assuming they're not your antivirus, or if you use OneDrive or Dropbox, you do not want to disable them. But again, anything else in here, pretty much you can select and then select the Disable button. So disabling it does not actually disable it from running if you go open up your start menu and search for the program. It just means that every time your computer turns on, it's not going to start up with your computer, which is fine for most programs and applications. So go ahead and make some adjustments there, and you can select Disable to go ahead and disable any of them. And if you want to enable it down the road, you just select the app and then select Enable. So again, pretty straightforward process on that. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and now open up the start menu. Search for Control Panel, best match, come back with Control Panel here. Go ahead and open that up. You want to set your view by up at the top right to large icons, and then you want to select where it says Power Options. Go ahead and left click on that. Underneath Plans, you want to go select the High Performance Plan. If you don't see it, you may have to expand Show Additional Plans. And you want to select High Performance, Favors Performance, but may use more energy. And this would be more noticeable on a laptop if you have battery power. But otherwise, generally speaking, if you're trying to get more energy or use out of your computer, you'll set that to high performance. And then you just can close out of here to save that. It should take effect immediately. And something else I'd recommend trying as well would be to open up the Start Menu Search. Search for Adjust. Best match to come back with Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows. Go ahead and open that up. And you want to set this to Adjust for Best Performance and select Apply. If there are certain items you'd rather keep back enabled once you've closed out of here because your system may look a little bit different with how windows and programs open, you may want to adjust for best performance but then check mark a few exemptions in here. So this would be a custom setup that you could allow and then kind of tweak depending on your preferences. So again, definitely something I'd recommend taking a look at. Something else here as well, open up the search, search for disk cleanup. Best results should come back with disk cleanup. Go ahead and open that up. You want to select the Clean Up System Files button. And then you want to select OK. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select Delete Files. Okay, so once that is done, you want to go now open up the search, type in defrag. Best match to go back with defragment and optimize drives. Go ahead and open that up. Select the optimize button or defrag if it's an HDD. If it's a hard disk drive, you can select defrag. But solid state drives, you don't defrag. You can optimize some of them though. And you'd select optimize or whatever options it gave you in this case. If you've never run it before, it's definitely going to vary on how quickly it does it. But you can see it was pretty fast in our case. 
close out here. One further thing I would also do would be to go back to the search, type in CMD, best results should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now you want to go ahead and search for SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully that should have been pretty straightforward. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.